Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I don't know what is wrong with me today. This is like my 100th take. It feels like my 100th take of trying to film this video. I have no idea today. Like my filming has just gone so horribly wrong. I keep on messing up my words and just like not making sense. So hopefully this is the last and final time that I have to film this video. So it's just so frustrating. I hate refilming videos and I've had to refilm this video so many times today so hopefully this is the last time that I have to refilm this because it is just super duper annoying and it should be super easy to film it's a favorites video but for some reason today I cannot talk and get my words out right so hopefully this is the last time I have to film this video and yeah I just need to stop like rambling on and just get with it so um for today's video as you guys can see by the title it is my February favorites video so I am wanting to do favorites videos again so I thought why not do one for uh, the month of February I bought quite a few things last month so I wanted to share them with you guys and the stuff that I have loved the most so um first things first I am obsessed with is my new camera that I am looking at right now and filming with. I am obsessed with this camera. It is the Nikon Coolpix A900 and I just love it so much and I also love my little tripod that it came with. It's the Manfrotto tripod. It's like a little mini one and I'm just in love you guys. I am so happy with this camera and I'm so happy that I bought it and I'm just in love with everything. The flip up screen and like the autofocus of this camera is amazing and so much better than my old camera and I just love it so I'm super duper happy with this camera and sorry I'm burping um but yeah I am just in love with it and I hope you guys are liking it as well because it's amazing and I'm so happy that I bought it so yeah again the camera I have is the Nikon Coolpix A900 and it's just amazing and I love it so much so that's the first thing on my list um, and the next thing I have is another expensive item. I bought quite a few expensive things last month, I don't know why. Um, but I have a new wallet and my new wallet is not just any wallet, it is a Ted Baker wallet and it's amazing. So it is this like rose, it said it was rose gold but it kind of is like more of a gold to me but I don't know. But um, it's this leather like gold uh, or rose gold um, Ted Baker wallet and I bought this on the Iconic website and the Iconic is kind of like Australia's version of ASOS so that's like the I, other online website I could compare it to is it's more like ASOS than Boohoo so um because it has more like higher brands on it so um I got it on the Iconic and I never had bought anything from the Iconic before so when you buy stuff from the Iconic for the first time you can get $20 off your first order so that's what I did so I got this instead of getting it on the actual Ted Baker website so instead of it being $200 I got $20 off so I got it for $180 which was awesome and I also got free shipping so that's always good so I just love it and here's a little close up of it I love the little detail of the little bow. That's like my, my favorite thing about Ted Baker is the little bow. Um, and then here's what it looks like inside. It's just super pretty. I have all my cards there and I just love it. This is where like all my change goes and it's so cute and I'm just in love with it. So I needed a new wallet for so long and uh, the one that I uh, had before this was one from Boohoo that was like $12 and it was gold again and um, it was just like falling apart so I needed a new one so I really wanted to get this one because I had been eyeing it off the Ted Baker website for a while and I just finally went and got it so I'm super happy that I did because I'm in love with it and it's amazing and I like how flat it is as well and it just it's so good I love it so that is my new wallet um, so my next thing I have is, oh, these things. I have a list over here, um, that has my February favourites on it so I can keep, like, in track or in line with what I'm, like, showing you. Um, sorry, I need a drink first, though. I've been talking a lot because I've been filming this video for so many takes and I'm, like, losing my voice and it's annoying me. So, um, but anyway, uh, I bought these two things from Melbourne when I went for my trip away last month. And I found these in 
a shop called Spellbox, which I absolutely fell in love with. It is so cute and so like spooky, and it's in the block arcade, I think it's called. Um, and I just fell in love with it. It's so amazing. So um, it is quite expensive though because like everything seems to be like handmade but it is quite expensive so this was the cheapest thing that I got and it was $18. So I got this little candle which says cat candle spell on it and it has like this little like message on the back of it um, like about cats and stuff and it's just super cute. Um, so you guys can pause the video if you want to read it, but, <laughs> um, it is so cute, and with this, it came, uh, with this little cat charm, and that's what, like, right, like, it bought, that's what brought my attention to, like, buy it, because I just fell in love with this, with this little charm, and it is so cute, and this is going to be perfect to wear on Halloween, like, around Halloween, and I just love it. It didn't come with this necklace, I already had this necklace, but... Just came with the charm wrapped around the candle, and I just love it. It's so adorable. And they had different um, animals. I think there was like an owl, there was a fox, and just like animals like that. So I, of course, had to get the cat because that was like my favorite animal. And I just loved it. It's so cute, and I can't wait to wear it around Halloween because it's going to be so awesome to wear around then. So uh, I just like fell in love with that shop, and I wish I could have bought more things like. They had Ouija board stuff, which I really wanted to buy, but my mum wouldn't let me. Um, and they also had, like, crystal balls that was so beautiful, and I just wanted to buy them. And I wanted to buy everything in that shop, because even though it was super expensive, I just wanted to buy, like, the whole shop, literally. It was just amazing, and I fell in love with it. I could have spent, like, ages in that shop. It was amazing. Um, so, moving on to uh, some more beauty things now. Uh, so I have these two new Kylie Jenner lip kits uh, that I bought. So this one is one of her new ones. It is called Wicked. It is a purple one and I bought this mainly just to wear around Halloween time. And I love it already. Like I wore it the other day um, whilst I was doing some like photo shoot stuff for my paranormal channel. Like I wore it for that and I just fell in love with it. It looks so much darker on and I just love it. It's so amazing and I can't wait to wear it more like when it's October. Um, so I just love this so much. I'm going to wear this to Fright Night this year because it is amazing. So I have that and of course I had to get it because of the name because you guys know Wicked is my favourite musical of all time so of course I had to get it. Um, so the next one I got was the uh, Candy K one and that's just one of the classic ones, one of the original uh, lip kits, so I've always wanted this one, so, um, and whenever I went to go buy it, it was always out of stock, but it was in stock this time, so I got it, and it's just super pretty, super cute, and it's good for, like, everyday use, so I am in love with it, and I have, like, so many Kylie lip kits now, it's crazy, I have, like, 11, I think, yeah, I have 11, it's, like, literally insane, I'm, like, slowly building my collection, I want to have, like, all of them, like, but I know that's, probably not going to happen for a very long time because they're quite expensive but I just love them so much and I want to have all of them at like at one point in my life I want to have every single one of them so that's my main goal um but anyway so moving on from them and moving on to this new foundation that I have found that I am in love with so I bought this foundation because I am running out of my NARS foundation which is super heartbreaking because it is pretty expensive, the NARS foundation, it's like $70, so I wanted to get a cheaper option um, because I am going like to a few events soon, so I'm actually going to like out tonight, so I kind of want to like save my like foundation because I still have foundation in there, but like if I, like if you have a NARS foundation, you know, you know it has like a pump bottle thing um, and or a pump lid and uh, it's like not coming out of the lid anymore so I have to like take off the lid and like dab it like on the back of my hand to like get it out so um, I kind of want to save it because um, I am going to a super exciting event in a couple of weeks time I'm seeing 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 Bruno Mars um, in like two weeks time or like a week no yeah two weeks time I'm seeing or less than two weeks time I'm seeing Bruno Mars and I want to save my good foundation for that so in the meantime um, I bought this 
Rimmel London Match Perfection Foundation and I really like it. It's really good. I'm in the shade Ivory and it goes perfectly with my skin and I just love it. So it's a very good like drugstore option and it feels really light. It like doesn't feel like heavy um, which I don't like with foundation. I hate it when foundation feels really heavy. I like it to feel light and like, like I don't have anything on. So um, and I really like this one, so I just got it from Coles. It was $18, so I am obsessed with this, and I am super happy that I bought it, so. Oh my god, I'm losing my voice. I need to have another drink. Okay, so we're getting to the end here. Uh, thank goodness, because I am losing my voice. I don't know if you guys can tell, because I've tried to film this video so many times and it's been such a fail, but I feel like this has been going okay because I don't want to film this video ever again. Um, so now on to my favourite music that I have been listening to like non-stop the last few, like, few weeks. So the first one is definitely Delta Goodrum's new song called Think About You. Oh my god. I pre-ordered this song and I like every any like ever since I uh, could like listen to it um, from the time like it came like live to me to listen I have not stopped listening to it like literally it's been on repeat it's like the greatest showman soundtrack all over again like I've just been listening to it on repeat and I am so like in love with this new Delta era and I can't wait for her new album I feel like it's going to be very different because this song is very different to anything she's ever done before and she sounds amazing in it and I am super excited and so ready for the new album and I just can't wait to hear more so hopefully she'll have like more songs like this in the future with this new album and I'm just so excited for it because it is like more dancey and she never really does like this type of like style of music so I'm just super excited for it and I love this song so much I just it's so good like if you haven't listened to it listen to it because it's amazing and it's so different from anything that she's done before and I'm just in love with it so I cannot wait for her new album I can already tell it's going to be amazing so that's the first song that I have been loving and listening to non-stop and the next one is another Australian artist or artist because it's a band um, <clears throat> it is five seconds of summer's new song called want you back and I really really like it I um like I do have like five seconds of summer like on my phone like I listen to them and I have actually seen five seconds of summer in concert before and they were really good um, and I really like their new song it's also again very different to their old stuff which is all like really rocky this is more kind of like pop rock kind of but I really like it it's really good and so I'm also super excited for their new album it's been quite a while since they've released anything new so I am really looking forward to hearing some more new 5 seconds of summer and I just like love this new single and I can't wait to hear more from them. Um, so my last uh, artist that I've been loving uh, this last few, these last few weeks is Dua Lipa and I started listening to her because she's actually going to be the opening act for Bruno Mars um, when we, when like by we I mean my cousin and I am going with my cousin to see Bruno Mars and um, I am super excited to see Bruno but I'm also really excited to see, to see Dua Lipa because usually in Australia you don't really get the best opening acts, you always usually get really crap opening acts but um, I'm super excited for this opening act, I am super excited to see Dua Lipa. I have been listening to her album a lot and uh, my favourite songs on her album are of course her biggest hit New Rules and I also love Be The One and I love IDGAF so I love that one as well so I am super excited to see her live I feel like she's going to be really good so super excited about that but um, yeah so that is everything on my list and every like all the music that I've been loving recently so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I feel like my voice is almost gone by the end of this video so hopefully uh, this video like went okay I feel like it went a lot better than uh, my last hundred times that I tried to film this video so finally this video is done I don't have to film it again so I need to film more videos today but I feel like I'm gonna need to take 
like a break uh, so I can give my voice a rest because I feel like I'm losing it and you can hear it in my voice and I'm losing it because I've just talked so much so I'm gonna go now thank you guys for watching this video I uh, even though it was like kind of a fail the first few times I tried to film it but it's finally done so yay so I'm gonna go now my birds are going crazy I don't know why but that's just what they do so I'm gonna go and I am going to see you guys uh, again on Wednesday with another video so I'll see you guys then alright bye guys